All right, guys. Hey, Dr. Taylor Creamer here with Winchester Spine and Support. Uh, we're here with one of our amazing success stories with spinal stenosis, uh, Nancy Tulier. So uh, we asked Nancy if she could sit down a little bit and just kind of give a, a little overview of kind of where she was at, uh, what kind of led to her kind of living now this uh, thriving life. And so, uh, if possible, Nancy, do you just want to kind of introduce yourself and kind of talk about uh, where you were before uh, before you kind of started coming here? Okay. Um, let's see. I was in my twenties and. I got diagnosed with spinal stenosis, fibromyalgia, and a myriad of other diseases, um, osteoarthritis. Um, I suffered with Western medicine for many years, I had numerous surgeries on my back and my neck, um, I had numerous injections, I had nerve blocks, nerve root blocks, you name it, I had it, nothing worked. Um, I was to the point where I was having trouble lifting a bottle of milk, mm -hmm. a gallon of milk, which they told me was about eight pounds. So the doctor put that as my lifting restriction. <laughs> and of course, um, I continued to deteriorate as my mm -hmm. diseases progressed. Um, before I came here, I was literally down on the sofa, sorry, <laughs> most of the time in excruciating pain. I had been through starting in my 20s, uh, muscle relaxers, anti-inflammatories, um, you name it, uh, with Tylenol. I have never been able to take Motrin or leave, um, ibuprofen, none of those because I had stomach problems. Mm. And um, so I was in excruciating pain. I had gone the route of two years on fentanyl patches. Mm. Um, that didn't work. Uh, the pain was excruciating, so they put me on morphine. 60 milligrams three times a day, then four times a day, then 100 milligrams four times a day. Um, plus, I was supplementing it per the doctor with Tylenol, okay, 4,000 milligrams a day. Um, still in excruciating pain, still down my back most of the time, barely functioning. Um, I could ride in a car about maybe 20 minutes to get to church. By the time I got to church, I was like this, mm -hmm. and I couldn't stand up straight, I couldn't walk good. Um, I was having a lot of trouble with my balance. I'm a klutz anyway, so <laughs> that didn't help matter. Um, but I was having a lot of trouble with my balance. Um, I was like needing to lean on my husband to walk anywhere, to get anywhere. That's the state I was in when I got here, two and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. um, what led me here, um, I had talked with um, Joan Broyles, who I go to church with, mm -hmm. who at that time was the office manager, mm -hmm. and she had told me about Dr. Brett and how wonderful he was, and he's not your normal chiropractor, <laughs> he does this fantastic DNS stuff, and she's trying to explain it to me, but you know, I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, well, I had tried to go to three other chiropractors in my lifetime, and they all turned me down, they wouldn't even work on me because of my surgeries and the shape I was in, and the diseases, and um, so I was kind of skeptical. And then, um, I, my husband and I go to Lakesfield Music in St. Charles, and the manager's wife, Linda Kessler, comes to Winchester yeah. Spine. And she has a lot of the same back problems I had, has had a lot of surgeries and, and excruciating pain. And we sat down one day and we talked at length. And she just couldn't say enough good things about Winchester Spine and Dr. Brett. <laughs> and so the next day I called yeah. and I made an appointment. I got in here. Um, the rest is history. You know, he um, has me seen um, Sheila. Mahler uh, for my stenosis uh, workout twice a week. I do that. Um, I go to Dr. Rebecca. The first thing Dr. Brett asked me when I came to him, he says, I can, first of all, he said, I can help you. I know I can help you and get rid of some of that pain. And then he said, would you be willing to go on a gluten and dairy-free diet? And, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> but I did. Yeah. I tried anyway. And I'm still trying. Um, but nevertheless, uh, the pain was, was greatly reduced. I'd say maybe... I don't remember if I remember my numbers right, but I'd say 70% in the mm -hmm. first month. Wow. Um, it, it's, it's been an uphill battle, though, because, you know, my diseases are still there, mm -hmm. my back is still in the same shape as then, and, and such. But with working out and doing the exercises and, and the program here at Winchester Spine, it's, it's, it's giving me my life back. Yeah, that's amazing. No, that's, that's <laughs> um, good, yes. It's, I'm, I'm no longer on the sofa 24-7. <clears throat> I'm functioning.
functional, fully yeah. functional. When I came in here, I couldn't even I couldn't even pass the test to step over a bar that yeah. high, you know, without holding on to something. Um, now it's just it's to me it's a miracle. I still have a long way to go with sure. it. Sure. Yeah. But I've come so far. That's I'm, awesome. I'm just thrilled. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, um, you know, not all uh, success stories are this amazing, but. Uh, Nancy is, has put in the time and the work to, to really get to where she is right now. And so uh, we thank you for sitting down with us and, and kind of telling your story. Uh, it's not always easy, and so we, we, uh, we, we appreciate your openness. Uh, so this week, our, our goal is to kind of give you guys an idea of, of what a treatment looks like for spinal stenosis, what uh, the, the battles that we're kind of facing or that uh, you, know, you can look forward to, and then also giving you options for other, other types of care. Um, things that uh, you know maybe the world doesn't know about that um, that are that are really not easy, but they're they're manageable. And so our goal is to give an outline of, of four major things. So our four major keys in the treatment room are uh, finding a directional preference, so some type of movement that gives relief and uh, gives uh, gives a little bit of pain relief. Uh, number two is going to be hip extension. So most people with spinal stenosis deal have a hard time moving through their hips correctly. Uh, number three is thoracic spine extension. Again, another area of uh, people commonly with spinal stenosis have a very difficult time moving through their uh, uh, thoracic spine. And then uh, number four is intra-abdominal pressure. So if we can combine those four, we have a very, very big success with, uh, with easing pain and then getting people back to, to function. And then the last big key to that is in this room. That's why we had the interview in this room, is in the, in the yes. training room. It's kind of a myth that uh, when you have spinal stenosis, a back injury, you're fragile. You can't do these types of things. Um, we have a spinal stenosis class that meets uh, four times a week. That uh, There's four different class times. You deadlift, you work on all sorts of different things, things that maybe you thought weren't reachable, um, but are very reachable and are very, very amazing for, for training this kind of stuff. So uh, that's kind of a preview of what's, uh, what we're gonna do this week. Um, if possible, maybe we'll have a couple other awesome testimonials in here as well. But uh, we just want to thank you so much for sitting down with us, Nancy, and uh, we wish you all the best in the future. Okay? Yeah.